are you folks? Now, we have done these before, Sharon. Yep. We've done them in our deep fat fryer, but not a lot of you have got a deep fat fryer. So we've been asked to do them in an air fryer. And what are they? Scotch eggs. I love a scotch egg, folks. Right, for this recipe, we're going to be making five scotch eggs, Sharon. Shall we take a look at the ingredients? Here are the ingredients to our air fryer scotch eggs. One and a half pounds of sausage meat, five hard boiled eggs, some breadcrumbs, we are using pre-made shop bought, some flour, some spray oil, two raw eggs to make the breadcrumb stick. Okay then, so we've got five scotch eggs here, folks. I actually boiled these while Sharon was out earlier on, Sharon, didn't I? That makes them a good egg. <laughs> so these have actually gone cold and they should be hard boiled. We put them in for about seven or eight minutes, I think I let them boil for. So Sharon's just peeling them now, so we'll we'll do a bit of magic shower ready, steady. There we go. That's As if, magic. That's magic. And we've also given them a little bit of a rinse off, folks, because uh, you can get that little tiny bit of shell, Sharon, oh, stuck to them, and it's nothing worse than And you can kick off for that. Oh, I have done before, haven't yeah. I, baby? Another plate to put them on. Right, now, we just will say that these are small legs. They, they are, are very small. Yeah, we, we, we've allowed for five, but we think we're gonna, we could possibly get more. Get we're not going to do more, so we're just going to make the five Normally we use a large egg, don't we, Sharon? Mm, yeah, these aren't large. So there's our five boiled eggs, folks, nicely peeled and ready to go. Right, so here's our sausage meat. Now, Sharon's, because we've got five eggs, we're just gonna partition that into five segments there. So Sharon's just cutting it up into five segments. Nothing scientific here, folk. And if they need a little bit more, we've also got that little bit yeah. more there just to uh, mold them in afterwards. As I say, there's no, this hasn't got to be accurate as anything, yeah? Just get everything ready now. That's the breadcrumbs just going into a bowl. What's these ones, Chef, by the way? Just Tesco's. Just Tesco's, white breadcrumbs there, folks. And we're just going to take a couple of beaten eggs to use as the glue so that the uh, breadcrumbs will stick to the uh, eggs and pot uh, potatoes, eggs and potatoes. Look at me, Sharon. Eggs and sausage meat when we uh, roll them out. And the procedure for this is just get your hands in, Sharon. Yeah, I just, I just put a little bit of flour on my hands, so I just put a bit of flour there. Yeah. Just so the sausage meat doesn't stick to your hands. There's a hole in that bag, I meant to tell you that, look. Oh dear, oh my god. I know, I found it out the other day, Sharon. Yeah. But uh, I forgot to tell you. Why right. that happened? I don't know, who knows? We're never, we're never going to know, Sharon. No. Nope. So right, here we go, so one bit of sausage we'll meat. I'll take that bit first. What I usually do, this is the way I do it. I'm on my hand and I just literally flatten it. Not like a pate? Yeah. Or patty rather. And I'll do that twice. It's like, it goes in the envelope. It's gonna, well, egg sandwich, basically. Sausage egg sandwich? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> you just take your egg. Literally, just mould it round. Now, see what she says. So you put the other one on the other side, folks. There you go. And that will make your egg sandwich, so to speak. Yeah. Just keep moulding it, because you've got to get that back together again in one ball. So just keep moulding it in your hand. And that's really why you want hard-boiled eggs, because you don't want to squash the egg. We could do if they want. No, I've seen some people do them with, with a soft centre. Oh, do they? Yeah, but uh, just sort of mould them together. There we go. And if you get any little holes, just, as I say, just drag your fingers and fill the holes up, folks. And if you hadn't got enough, depending on your size of your eggs, use a bit of the extra bit at the end there. Look at that, look. We'll put that there. Right, we're just going to zoom along and do them, folks, and we'll see you when they've all been coated. Right, OK, so while Sharon's doing that, I'm going to come over to our Kasori Jewel Blaze, which we're going to be cooking these in today. I'm going to turn that on. We're going to be doing on the air fryer function, and I'm going to take the temperature just up to 200 degrees, just for 10 minutes, just to preheat it. So I'm going to let that do its own thing and tick over. One thing to say, just open it up. As you can see what happened there, don't leave a thing in there with nothing sitting on it because it got sucked up straight away. So that's just a little tip for you there. I know we like to leave them in there, but don't start it up preheating with one of these in because it will get sucked straight up into the, uh, into the fan above and obviously your element will burn it, it could catch fire. So never preheat on an empty parchment paper tray or whatever. So I'm gonna put that back in and let that do its warming up. And then we will put that in and then we will then put the eggs on top of them. So as you can see, she's using that little bit of flour there, folks, just to make sure her hands don't get too sticky. And literally just molding them all together. 
and it actually looks like a shower because we like a bit of substantial we do we like fixed sausage, sausage around our scotch egg so we have it quite thick you can have it thinner but um we like a good bit of a uh, sausage like to fill you up do you know what oh, well, i'm going to use that yeah i said you would that's what yeah. i just said Grabbing my balls. And as you can see, Sharon, just move your arms to the side. Sharon's sporting yeah. our new Butler's Empire merchandise. I think we're going to do a short run of them, maybe, aren't we? We're just yeah. trying one out at the moment, folks. So um, if you're interested, keep an eye out and we'll let you know if these do become available. <laughs> And there you go. There's our five Done with scotch eggs. Lovely gummy sticky hands. hands. So she's going to wash her hands. Okay then. So Sharon's just set herself up. We've got the uh, scotch eggs there, the massive scotch eggs, Sharon. Whoppers, scotch and, bombs. And all we're going to do now is literally dip them in our beaten eggs. Give them a good turnover. You want a good coverage on them, folks. And then from there, she'll dip that in and then use her other hand just to move them about and get them fully coated. You only single dip them or what? Yep, so they need. They only need a single dip in there, folks. And there you go. So that one comes out and they rest on the side and just repeat the procedure until all five are done. There we go, all five of them nicely prepared. Now what we're gonna do now, because we're f uh, cooking them in the air fryer, you really need some oil around them to give them that sort of, not deep fried, but that proper, f what's it called? Crispy golden Crispy look. Crispy golden look, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our olive oil. We have got this spray bottle. Now, I've mentioned this before, Shell, haven't we? Mm. Where, what can I spray it on? Wait there. Wait there. Why don't you just do a bit of kitchen roll? Oh, go on in. We'll use a bit of kitchen roll, folks. So normally, these sort of spray things, when you put oil in them, they come out. Can you see this, folks? Look. In sort of a stream, look, one stream. If you stop, if you stop, that'll show. Yeah, but if you shake them up like that and get some air into the actual olive oil, give it a good shake, the more aeration you get, the more chance you've got to get in a spray pan. So there we go, now watch. And push it firmer and you should find that you'll get a better coverage. So all we're gonna do now is literally give these a good coating. Anyway, let's turn them over. So we want to get all them breadcrumbs nicely coated. So again, on both sides, give them a good squirt of oil. Okay, folks, so that's our eggs coated, shall? Yeah? It sure is. Bacon, they'll go into the air fryer and we'll put them on one of the parchment paper liners. So let's get over and do that. Right, now don't forget we have preheated this and it is warm. So in goes our liner. Just be careful you don't burn yourself, folks. And literally, just plonk them in. You'll get five large ones in here, no problem whatsoever. So we'll whack them in. Right, okay, so we're gonna now put these on for 200 degrees centigrade, and we're gonna put them on for 24 minutes. Because they're big ones, aren't they? Yeah, because they are big ones. They might take shorter if you're yeah. doing the smaller. I've got them very thick with a sausage meat. Of course you have. And let's start them off. And throughout the cooking period, we will actually turn them over and get them coloured on all sides, won't we, Sharon? Yeah, we will. That, we could do that two, three, four times yeah. even, couldn't we? So while Sharon's doing a little bit of her clearing up, I think I'll make her a lovely cup of coffee. How about that, baby? Oh my God, you heard it here first, folks. Anything for my princess. Oh. Right, okay, these have just finished. We've turned them over about three to four times, folks. And, uh, Let's have a little go with the temperature probe and see what the... We're not going to go right through to the egg, we're just going to go into the, the meat side of it. And we want them to be above 70 degrees, 75 degrees centigrade. And they've zoomed past that, as you can see, folks. Let's try another one. There we go, 85. In there. Yeah, well above it. So they're actually done. So we'll put them out on a plate, folks. We'll cut one open and then we'll have a little look. Right, okay, folks, we've actually cut one open. They 
They look absolutely fantastic inside. I'm sure you've just seen that in the images we've just done. Now, Sharon likes to put a bit of um, white pepper on her, so there you go. I'm not actually going in today, folks, because I'm fasting at the moment, but... Um, I'm not. You're not, and I could re I'll tell you what, I could murder one of these right now. He's one of your favourites. Let's have we? a little look. Let's watch Sharon go in. So there we go. Right, ciao. In you go, baby. Full metal jacket. You can't beat a homemade scotch egg, and you can't beat a hot scotch egg, I'm sorry. So much better hot than cold. Look at that, folks, look. Just look at that. My little Frank's gonna have that half. Now, we quite often have, when we're out and about, we might want something quick without any carbs in it, or very, very low carbs, and we often get a supermarket scotch egg, and they are as bland as anything. Now, is that bland? No, it's wonderful. I can't taste it, Sharon. But look at them, they're four massive. You don't get them that size, folks, unless you actually make them yourself. We've got quality meat around that, haven't we? Mm. Quality pork meat from a butcher. You can make them cheaper. If you buy the cheap sausages, for example, you can buy a pack of sausages for about one pound, 52 pounds, something like that. And what some people do, rather than get the sausage meat from a butcher's, for example, they have been known to get the cheap sausages, squirt the stuff out of the actual sausage casing it comes in, and get your minced meat that way. But I don't know whether you all get this sort of quality. They are absolutely superb. Just look at them, folks. The art of it is putting the oil on and keep turning them round in the air fryer every few minutes. About every seven or eight minutes, turn them round in the air fryer so that you get that colouring all the way around there. And they are very, very good. Now, we've had them deep fried. We do do them deep fried. They're a lot quicker to do deep fried. Mm. You normally take about... Seven to ten minutes. Seven to ten minutes of the egg this size in our little deep fat fry, what we got. And uh, this is the first time we've done them in air fry, so it can be done. And are they tasty? Mm. There you go. But put, make sure you do coat them in the oil first, folks, otherwise you'll have a very dry surface. And uh, that is not reminiscent of a proper deep fried scotch egg. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to I've binge. enjoyed it. Don't forget to binge watch our other videos as well. We've got loads of playlists there and loads of different stuff as well, as well as a Sunday vlog, which we do. And uh, you'll see what we get up to during the week as well. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video. And until then. Bye. I can't believe I'm not having it, Sharon. It's never been known. My little evening, how you're here. They're going to have an egg, a scotch egg as well. And Frank's having half. Mm.